Yo, 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 it's me, Tyro, aka TDR Gaming, and welcome back to my YouTuber All Star Career Mode, the finale. That's right, I'm ending it in this episode because FIFA 17 is so close and the demo is really close as well. If you guys are watching this right now, the demo is probably already out, so I will do videos on that probably later this week or maybe next week, I'm not quite sure. So I just wanted to get it over and done with and plus I didn't have the No there's no there's no plus. Um so I do apologize for simming most of the games. I did play one game but that's because it was a crucial game. Now as you can see here we do sim a lot of games like I just said and this season went really really well. I'm not saying the outcome but it was close very close now as you can see here we go to a game against Swindon which we draw no no cartel does get injured also the people are injured well I think Ryan's still injured and I think he's the only person that's get injured and also cartel right now going to the game against Doncaster which wasn't an easy game to be honest we don't really have a best of way record as you can see there we absolutely got batted 4-0 by Doncaster and also Bradford who were in second, it was too hot to race, Bradford were closing in on us ever, ever since we started swimming the games and I decided to, I first decided to think, I, I thought to myself, oh maybe I should ch stop swimming games and start playing games more because Bradford are closing in on us and I don't want to lose the lead to Bradford. So I think that's why. I decided to play more games, but in this one, as you can see here, the game against Bradford, the title decider is against Bradford. I did decide to play more games in the last episode, but now I decided to say more because of the reason that I just said. But this is the only game I play, which is against Bradford. As you can see, we're three points ahead of them. We have lost a lot more, a lot more games in comparison to them, but they've drawn a lot more in comparison to us. Now. In the, in the series, I didn't really switch up the lineup a bit in terms of league games. I did switch up the I did switch up the lineup in terms of cup games, which maybe I shouldn't just do for next season. I think I should switch it up a bit in terms of league games as well, just to make it fair for the other players that are in the team. Now in this game, the team is a bit different. I didn't play WX7 right away like I did in the last episode. He's on the bench. As you can see that I have Bizzle, I have Vinny, I think I have Cartel or the player I've seen, I'm not quite sure, Fluffy, I have Chubbs and I have other players like that. So overall this game was a bit tough and as you can see the Bradford team, I don't know anybody for the Bradford team, their kit reminds me of a, what do you call it, their kit reminds me of a McVitie's not make for teeth. Um, the cut reminds me of a cheddar barbecue sauce thing. I remember eating one of them. But yeah, this game was pretty difficult. Born in by Corruptive and Fluffy heads it over the bar. Now, speaking of Corruptive, he gets a chance here. I think someone gets fouled. Corruptive strikes it. And let's look at this. It's in the back of the net. What can I say? Corruptive, great player, great shot on him. Goes to the substitute. Everybody else joins him. Great play he is. He's been a playmaker throughout. The key to unlock the op opponent's defense. But it was difficult in this game. As I said, Brazil was a great save. And Bradford nearly leveled the scoring. We get another chance here. Quirtiv tries to get a second, but the goalkeeper saves it. And the goalkeeper was amazing in this game. Uh, it's going in the second half. Kurtz gets another chance and the goalkeeper manages to save it again. I think, I'm not sure, the, the goalkeeper might have got man in the match, but Kurtz with the ball again, he plays it to myself. I strike it and it just goes right. Honestly, I thought I scored that, to be honest. I thought it was in the back of the net. Bit of booty there. But the goalkeeper did come, much, did come up clutch in that game for Bradford and that was the final score. We did manage to beat Bradford. 1-0 and that was a big massive 3 points for us because Bradford were closing in us and I thought they would have overtaken us 
but that wasn't the case. As we move on, we go into a game against Rochdale. And also, what I want to tell you guys is, I know I said last episode that I'm not sure what difficulty is in world class or something like that. With well, actually I'm professional, that's why we we're just cruising through games and stuff like that. So next season, I think I might put it on world class or maybe legendary. I think I'm gonna put it on world class. And then if it gets a bit too easy, then I'll bump up to legendary later in the season. As you can see, we do manage to get beat 3-1 by Wigan at home. But nonetheless, we do win the league title. Bradford, I think, slipped up. And we do manage to get from them and win the league. So we go to our final game against Peterborough. And we managed to win 1-0 despite us losing against Wigan but nonetheless we are the champions of League One and I only know what team I'm going to do what team I'm going to control I mean like take over like where Berry and congratulations to Bizzle for getting goalkeeper of the tournament so we already have a team announced for keeper 17 which is Birmingham so just letting you guys know and the team of the tournament only techers from our club got into it I'm not quite sure how we did, we didn't really play that many games and top goal scorer for our club is Team Nexus he got 19 goals I think Bernardi got 17 oh no sorry Team Nexus got 17 Bernardi got 15 which is good now moving on to the assists we have myself I got top assists uh, next is Zalma and then Crypto, they both got 9. Now moving on to the bottom, you have T Nexus and you have Bernavi, I think it was. Also, you have Techers and then Clean Sheets, you have the big man, Bizzle, came up clutch for our team. So, congrats to him for getting the most clean sheets in the league along with somebody else, I'm not quite sure who it was, but this is the end of the series, thank you guys for tuning in, thank you guys for all your support, season 2 will be coming soon, FIFA 17, and I will see you guys then, over and out, peace!